Across the 23 videos I've made on Plants vs. Zombies, I've only gotten 14 Zen Garden plants. So they're pretty rare. The question is, how rare? A simple question that surely has a simple answer, right? But despite numerous attempts, I've never found a single answer. Recently, however, I decided the people need to know. So I did what any reasonable person would do, manually comb through the files and thousands of lines of code to find the answer myself. And now that I know, I'm just not gonna tell you. Just kidding. <laughs> Here is an explanation of the complexities and intricacies that define just how rare Zen garden plants are. Now I will start out simple as I believe all of you should have access to random esoteric knowledge on a game released 16 years ago. Let's say you chose a random place on this line. When you hit a button, you stop. So if you selected here, you would press the blue button. But if you selected here, you would press the red button. This will be on the cumulative final, so you better understand it now. In Plants vs. Zombies, there are five buttons. Those buttons dropping either Zen Garden plants, chocolate bars, diamonds, gold coins, or silver coins. Each time a zombie dies, one place out of 30,000 is randomly selected. Most of the time, the selected place completely misses all of the buttons, but occasionally a button is hit. You might think that's simple enough. And it is. These buttons, however, are not always the same. Their size depends on two things, game mode and zombie value. Let's take, for example, the Zen Garden button. If you're playing adventure mode, this value will be 24. Other game modes will make it 12, and survival endless pushes it all the way to three. Zombie values are tied to the kind of zombie and are hidden within the game's code. But most of the time, the stronger the zombie, the higher the value. So the Zen Garden button for a Gargantuar in Adventure Mode is much larger than that same button for a normal zombie in Survival Endless. 80 times larger, as a matter of fact. So with three game mode categories, 32 zombie types, and five buttons, you can start to see just how complex the answer to this simple question is becoming. But we're not even close to done. So. If you chose this place on the line, you would naturally hit the Zen Garden button first. If that button wasn't there, you would actually hit the chocolate bar button first. But there's no way to eliminate buttons, right? Please tell me this doesn't get even more complicated. If your Zen Garden is full, the Zen Garden button will be gone. Thus, choosing this place will actually hit the chocolate button. But there's yet another catch. All of the buttons are relative. That's right. To know just the odds of getting a silver coin, you need to know the game mode, the type of zombie, if the Zen Garden is full, and if there's space for chocolate. Although this is a bit outside the scope of this question, because as we all know, the true purpose of Plants vs. Zombies is getting as many Zen Garden plants as possible. So we'll ignore the other buttons from now on. I know pretty much all of you want an answer in terms of a normal scenario. So without further ado, I present the fruits of my labor. The odds of getting a Zen Garden plant from a normal zombie in adventure mode is 1 in 1250, or 0.08%. This is pretty absurd. I'm not lying when I say, when I got this figure, I triple checked it. But it makes much more sense when you consider this. In Plants vs. Zombies, you kill a lot of zombies. On level 1-2 alone, you kill 112 zombies. What are the chances of you getting at least one Zen Garden plant from 112 zombies? 8.6%, which is nothing to scoff at. When you then start to factor in more zombies with higher zombie values, Zen Garden plants start to become almost inevitable with sufficient time. Now, what about the plants themselves? Surely, they're completely random, right? Of course they aren't. Why would anything have a simple answer? Okay, okay, I'm good. If you're playing the endless variety of Survival, Vasebreaker, or iZombie, the plants you get really are random. Otherwise, the plants that drop are the ones unlocked for those stages of adventure mode. This means you can ever so slightly hunt for specific Zen Garden plants. Let's say you're missing squash. 
Squash is initially unlocked for pool levels. While you could play through the whole campaign and then reset over and over on a pool level, you could also play Last Stand. Last Stand would have a slight decrease in chance due to the game mode change, but otherwise much stronger zombies show up in a much more timely fashion. Thus it is probably your best bet to finally obtain that squash you so desire. Now I have one extremely important disclaimer. Zen garden plants are rare. I know that sounds obvious, but as someone who has on multiple occasions gone several thousand blocks in the nether without finding a single fortress, I understand that it can feel like you're going insane. Sadly, that is just how RNG works. It is a randomly generated number, and tragically, computers cannot feel pain. So there's not much you can do but laugh about it. Anyways, if you are interested, there is so much I couldn't get to in this video that I will leave in the description. If you have any more questions, post them below. I also, in the process of making this video, have learned pretty well how to mod Plants vs. Zombies. What should I do with this great power? Stay tuned. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.